What's up, Gale Golfers? Yes. We're down for our T30 session at the Maybank Championship 2018 with Mr. John Yu. Uh, we're going to ask him a few questions on the nitty gritty of this whole championship and give you some inside information. Okay, John, just a quick fun fact. Uh, what's the latest attractions in this year's Maybank Championship? Hey, you know, I think we continue to grow the diversity in players. Okay. We've got Similar to last year, we have 32 nationalities. I think the difference is we got three top Japanese, two in the top 50 in the world. Okay. Uh, Rio Ishikawa. Okay. And we've got a whole fleet of young generation Y professionals, uh, right. both from the Asian region, ASEAN region, and uh, Europeans. Okay. Okay. Um, I think that's the, the big difference. Yeah. I think the, the new generation Y, especially the young guys, you know. 27, 28, no older than that, and younger. You know, look at Lee Hao Tong last week, he's 22. Mm. One on one with Rory, easy can. Easy. <laughs> so the youngsters are coming in, yeah. and more, more top players are coming into the team. Yeah, I think you, you're seeing um, definitely golf is getting younger, okay. and the champions are getting younger so, as well. So when, when we talk about, you know, a tournament of, of this scale, so roughly how many people involved in, you know, organizing such a tournament? Organizing. Uh, yeah. Well, I think between the tournament officials, you probably have 30, you have another 30 or 40 in the TV production, um, tour media, so digital is... services, another half a dozen, the travel. So by the time you count the players, the caddies, the managers, the tour-related officials, it's maybe a couple of thousand people. Wow. wow. At least a thousand wow. people. Wow. Uh. wow, wow. Right? That, that doesn't include the, the volunteers and... Uh, yeah. yeah. We can, of course. So yeah. now you know all the more reason why everybody should come down and check. Most <laughs> definitely. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you know, th I think this year especially we, we put in so much effort into the chill areas. You know, we got a great... First hole grandstand. Yeah, we noticed plus that. We the noticed that. driving range. Uh, you got the same at the ninth, same at the first and the eighteenth, tenth and eighteenth. Okay. Okay. So you know we really want to push that, to that experience. The, yeah. The golf, right? Yeah. And and they very prime prime locations for the public, so you know people can. That's sit right. Down. Yeah, I think every year we we need. I mean, it can't just be about the VIPs who are in the air conditioning. Yeah, 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 true, true, true. Uh, that's a nice uh, touch. That's a nice yeah. touch. Reaching out to the public, allowing them better views yeah. um, in a more relaxed environment. Yeah. Encourages the crowds to come in. Yeah, I think. And plus, you got to add elements, other elements of lifestyle other than golf. Well, whether it's music, food, fashion. I think on Wednesday, we took a couple of guys up on the helicopter. Right. Yeah, we saw ah, that. We and saw then that. They, they went into the city, they went over Batu Caves, chilled there for a while, saw hundreds of thousands of people, or tens of thousands, uh, did a little bit of Subang and then came back. Very nice. I Very think nice. you had, uh, who did we have? Yeah, we had Jazz, um, we had Beef, and who was the other one? Three, three pros went up. Oh. And I think there'll be a, a spectator who gets to win. Uh, a helicopter ride as well. But the so. main main guys, you missed out on the helicopter ride with the Gila golfers. <laughs> so we hope the next the next session don't, <laughs> don't forget that. Right? Might be we'll two Gila the, <laughs> after I tackle, <laughs> I tackle the helicopter, you know, the whole altitude. No, <laughs> two Gila. <laughs> two Gila. <laughs> okay, so you know the whole thing, uh, the tagline of the championship is about the best of Asia meets the rest of the world. Yeah. So as usual, John, you know, we always uh, cherish your, your opinions and, and your insights on the golfers, the current golfers, because you're one of the best and you are up to date with the golfers. Just a quick prediction. Ah. Who do you think will be the top two from the Asia side? I think the winner will be one of the, the young Gen Y. Okay. I, I think will be no older than 28 years old. That's interesting. Uh, okay. um, and if I look at that and then screen that down to players who fit that profile from Europe and Asia. Well, you've got guys like Dylan Fratelli from South Africa, okay. Jordan Speech teammate in University of Texas, already a winner, already going to break into the top 50. Uh, Chris Paisley who won in South Africa. Um, and then on the Asian side, so you've got Boom, Sakin, uh, uh, Pinsara, 
Kong Wat Mai, and of course our own Gavin Green. Gavin Green, yeah. right? Gavster. So, ah, there, there you go. I've got six names. I'm going to screen that down to probably one or two. Obviously, among all the top ASEANs, you know, Gavin's got to be the favorite. Okay. I think it is his home event. So, there tends to be a little bit more pressure on him. But, you know, I think you've seen the last three years, he's a fantastic athlete. He can bounce back very quickly. Yep. You yep. know, he's, yep. he's, he's been a, a good leader and he's had a bad day. The next week he comes back and does the same thing and he finishes. So, I think probably on, on the ASEAN side, Gav and, and Kong Wat Mai. Okay, okay. Uh, on the European side, you know, um, Chris Paisley is pretty impressive. Okay. Uh, and he's won already. Okay. And from South Africa, Dylan Fratelli. So Sean was telling me about your prediction last time you had the Titare and then uh, he was calling you Mystic John. Yeah. <laughs> You're amazing, yeah. yeah. You got it on, on cue. So we were just wondering, you know, what would you think would be the uh, final day score? Score. Uh, predictions like. I, I don't think it's going to change very much from last year. Last year we were. 1600. 1600. I, I, I would think that would be a good possibility to happen again. 1600, I think. Current On current average, 400 a day. Every yeah, four yeah. So Gav's got it right. He was 400 the first day. It's going to be 400 today and finish eight. And then tomorrow it'll be 12. And last day it'll be 16. And Maybe champion. There we go. <laughs> that's, that's, that's cool. That's cool. Well done, Gavster. You're on the right track, buddy. <laughs> the legend himself. All right, sir. Uh, any parting words you want to wrap no, up? You got to be here this weekend. Be here or be, be square. Best you know, we've got all the activities. We've got fantastic facilities. We've got a great makan makan area oh, got and food truck. chill out areas. You got live performances here on stage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, they got roof bags all over. Yeah. You can just hang out, chill, have a few cold, cold drinks. They got a lot of beautiful Carlsberg girls walking around. There you are. <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, All right. there you have it from Mr. John Yu himself. Fami and Sean signing out. See you guys at the Maybank Championship 2018. Alright. Thank you sir. Thank you.